Hellware has this mechanic called the Aid of Nature that spawns mushrooms which do constant, hard, typeless damage for the whole fight. If one of these hits you at the beginning of the fight, it makes it very hard to AFK the boss consistently, especially with high kills per hour and a legendary pet. But Dread TML challenged me to do just that. This is one of the most high-tech methods I've ever made. Similar to the King Black Dragon, Hellware spawns with a set cycle. That means any kill from 30.6 to 36 seconds gives you the exact same number of kills per hour, in this case, 60. In order to get kills in this time range, we need to use damage boosting ultimate abilities like Sunshine or Berserk. These abilities have a one minute cooldown, which matches up perfectly with the total time per kill, one minute. But here's the problem. When the boss spawns and attacks you, you don't always attack back at the exact same time. So sometimes Berserk isn't off cooldown yet, and another ability will be used in its place. This slowly pushes Berserk further and further back in the rotation, leading to slower kills, or much more likely, just death. I've gone ahead and built a rotation that fixes this. Berserk will still travel with the bar and activate later, but when that happens, I've designed the ability order to compensate and still give appropriate healing and damage to keep you alive, and keep Hellweir dead. After about three iterations of Berserk movement, there will be one kill that's slightly slower and resets the cooldown of Berserk to get it back in place. Then one more kill will reset the position of Chaos Roar. Using the exact setup I've created, this will give you incredibly consistent and safe AFK Hellware kills with a legendary pet. I've also created an even better Vindicta setup that I'll release soon after this video. Make sure to sub so you don't miss it. We're going to use the Vestments of Havoc robe set because it boosts the duration of Berserk and gives really nice adrenaline restoration effects. For our weapon, we're going to use an Abyssal Scourge, which is relatively cheap and does great damage here. In the offhand, we have a tier 95 Dark Sliver of Lang, which is more expensive, but you may be okay replacing it with a tier 92 or a tier 90 instead. In our glove slot, we use Cinder Banes, which are required here as Hellweir takes poison damage. Our cape is a melee Zuck cape, and our amulet is an Essence of Finality, which are both required. The EOF gives accuracy and healing perks that we need, and the cape is useful for powering up overpower. Our ring is a champion's ring. We're not going to use the equilibrium aura here, so we can still crit, which makes this ring useful. I have a rune pouch in my pocket slot just for the prayer bonus, and then a regular vampirism scrimshaw for healing. You can use a superior scrimshaw if you want, but the regular one should work fine. The aura I'm using is the penance aura. If you aren't hit by a mushroom spawn frequently enough, then penance powder isn't enough to sustain prayer on its own. You could use a Scarab Familiar, but then you can't use a Legendary pet, which isn't nearly as AFK. Therefore, we will stick with the Penance Aura at this boss. I've perked my Scourge with Eruptive 4, Precise 3. This is a new ability combo worth looking into. I'm using it because it helps boost poison damage. The combination is 6 Precise and 3 Time Worn components at level 137 Invention. It's a 1 in 83 odds, but not too expensive to make. My offhand is Aftershock 4, Ruthless 1, but just Aftershock 4 is fine. The armor perks are Impatient 4, Absorbative 4, Crackling 4, and Biting 4, Crystal Shield 1. You can put Crystal Shield 1 with Crackling 4 using 7 Vintage and 2 Faceted components at level 86 Invention. It's about a 1 in 9 odds. It's important that you don't have the Relentless perk because it will break the rotation. We will use the exact same perks and gear except for the gloves for the Vindicta guide I'm making next. In my inventory, I have Potion Reservoirs and Elder Overload Salves. Then I have a Death Warden Nexus with Necromancy Runes inside it. The Nexus serves two purposes. First, it allows us to use Lesser Bone Shield, which is required for this method, and second, it allows us to cast Darkness every 12 minutes. We don't absolutely need to use Darkness, but it will make the method a lot safer. Along with Darkness, we'll sip a dose of Weapon Poison++ plus 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 every 12 minutes. You can use Quorum Sticks with the Weapon Poison, but in testing I found it didn't make a huge difference relative to the cost, but it doesn't hurt to include them. What we do want to include is Alloyed Abyssal Armor Spikes. They'll aid our Scourge Bleed and help keep kills just under 36 seconds. 
Besides that, I have a spring cleaner and then drop placeholders in my inventory. For prayers, we'll use soul split and malevolence. I realize that this is a steep requirement for people, but if you want the best AFKing methods, it requires some big account unlocks. If you only have turmoil, you may be able to use a blood nihil familiar or ripper demon and still get good kill times, but the downside is you can't use a legendary pet then. Our relics are Fury of the Smalls, Persistent Rage, and Conservation of Energy. They ensure we have enough adrenaline so the bars won't break. Finally, you'll want to have the Strength and the Hit Points perks on your cape and the Passive Ring of Vigor unlocked. I'll also list all the gear in the description for you, so don't worry if you miss something or you want to watch it again, it'll be down there just listed out for you. The next step is setting up at the boss. We'll start in War's Retreat, just load your preset, refresh prayer, and get to full adrenaline. Teleport to Hellweir and create an instance on fastest speed. If a monster attacks you outside and your auto-retaliate goes off on it, just kill it and then reset again in War's Retreat. Once you're inside the instance, stand on exactly this spot right here. It will help mitigate the amount of mushroom damage you take. Every now and then, when the bar enters one of its reset cycles, you may move out of the spot to attack a wolf. If you notice this happens, just click back on the spot. You can also turn off run energy so your character moves a little bit less when this occurs. The action bar we'll use is Dismember, Berserk, Greater Fury, Resonance, Destroy, Reflect, Assault, Chaos Roar, Overpower, Sever, Punish, and Decimate. You'll notice it will execute differently on different kills, but with the exact setup I have, it will be incredibly consistent. About two or maybe three times an hour, Berserk will stagger behind Resonance. When this happens, the bar is going to reset within a few kills, but it does put you at an elevated risk if you get back-to-back -back mushroom spawns or have a longer-than-usual reset kill. This is the one situation where you may die with this setup, so if you notice it happening, just keep an eye on your screen until Berserk is used right after Dismember again, at which point you should be all set to completely AFK. That's all for the melee method, just make sure you refresh Poison and Darkness every 12 minutes. I realize it has some steep requirements and a lot of you still love Necroscape. For that reason, I'm going to quickly go through the Necromancy AFK loadout too. I won't talk through all the gear, but I'll put a list in the description for you. The necromancy method is slightly lower kills per hour, but it's very accessible for people who don't have a ton of cash. We'll wear a combination of tier 90 death dealer and death warden gear. Tier 80 should work, but I don't actually have tier 80 to test with, so I'm just going with 90 for all the testing I did. For perks, I have absorptive 4, crystal shield 4, enhanced devoted 4, and devoted 4, which is overkill, but it does make this absurdly safe. The rest of the setup can copy the melee one, and then we'll use the action bar Conjure Undead Army, Conjure Ghost, Death Skulls, Resonance, Conjure Skeleton, Soul Sap, Sacrifice, Reflect, Spectral Scythe, Bloat, and Volley of Souls. My exact setup gets about 43 kills per hour, which isn't that great. But if you put in some DPS perks and get tier 95 weapons, you can easily get this up to 50 plus kills per hour. Personally, I find the melee setup a lot more fun to use.